everyone. My name is Janie, and I'm a clinical hypnotherapist in Los Angeles, California. I have a lovely wellness center in Los Feliz, and I enjoy seeing my clients in person so that I can work with you one-on-one -on, -one on the areas that you need improvement in your life. I was able to get into hypnotherapy really started by being hypnotized myself about 10 years ago. I was called on stage in front of an audience and I was asked to participate in what would be an entertaining hour for uh, this group of freshmen in college. I was the last on stage as I was the most hypnotized and I was able to really determine sort of this interest in hypnotherapy and also this desire to understand what had happened to me, why it happened, and the fact that I was able to go so deeply and yet remember the entire thing. That was a huge wake-up call for me. People have a very big misconception about hypnotherapy and hypnosis and they believe that when you're under hypnosis you are completely zoned out, blacked out, asleep and unable to remember anything that's happened. And that's what I use a lot of my time doing is teaching uh, what it really is, how it really feels and how it truly works. And one of the big things that I like to make very clear is that it's very very common, very normal for clients to remember all or some of their session. Hypnotherapy can be used to treat so many things, really hundreds of things. There's very little that I can imagine um, wouldn't be used with hypnosis. Some of the things that my clients have come to me to would be uh, stress related uh, things such as tics, um, anxiety, unable to find themselves falling asleep at night, having nightmares. I also have behavioral issues, uh, relationship trouble, troubles, trauma that they're not able to get past. I have some clients that uh, have come to me to relieve themselves from um, certain habits like stuttering, nail biting, and smoking. want to make it so clear that absolutely everyone can and is hypnotized on a regular basis. See, one of the things that's so great about hypnosis is it's very natural. In fact, you do it on your own all the time, probably about 20 times on average each day. When you think about driving in the car and you're going from point A to point B and suddenly you arrive at your destination and you realize that you don't even remember the drive, that is what we call highway hypnosis. It's a natural state of, of hypnosis, so it's a really good example and something that most people can relate to. Also, when you're uh, watching a movie or when you're listening to music and you find yourself just slipping away, you're really engrossed in the film or you're transported by a song, that is hypnosis. And you'll recognize that you weren't completely blacked out, uh, but you are in a deeply, deeply peaceful state of awareness. And um, certainly, everything about you has changed in that moment. One of the ways that I'm able to offer hypnotherapy is obviously in person here at my wellness center in Los Feliz. But contrary to belief, I can also hypnotize you through the phone or through Skype. So I would encourage you to use the way that works best for you. I certainly recommend in person. I think there's absolutely nothing better than having that one-on-one -on -one intimate connection here with us in the same room. But uh, should you be somewhere that's a little too far and you're not able to make the trek, wherever you are in the world, I am happy to meet with you uh, via Skype or phone. Some of my most fun uh, hypnotherapy sessions have been with um, some really deep, deep subconscious work. And when I say deep, I mean we're not just working with this lifetime, we're working with past lifetimes. I do uh, past life regression and I highly recommend it. For those that have some type of ailments, um, behavioral issues, trauma that they can't understand why, phobias that they can't explain, uh, perhaps if you're afraid 
afraid of spiders or you're afraid of bridges, um, but you're not really sure why because you've never actually had a traumatic experience in this lifetime, well, that might indicate that this is something you're carrying from a past life. And I love to take uh, my clients back, way back, into past lives to be able to let go and release what you're no longer um, working with today. One very um, well-known misconception is that hypnotherapists have the ability to use a power over you in which you no longer have control. And that is absolutely incorrect and it is a very big misconception. Hypnosis is used to actually give you back control, the control that you've lost in your life and the ways um, that you're, you feel yourself unraveling. So it is something that I always like to make very, very clear that hypnosis cannot harm you when you go into hypnosis, you have a non-verbal agreement with the hypnotherapist and you're telling them that you give them permission, that you trust them um, in everything that they're saying to you. But you really truly do have your own control through the process. If you absolutely wanted to open your eyes and get up out of the chair, you absolutely could. It would be like waking yourself from from a drink. If you really truly wanted to do that within a few seconds, you would be able to. Um, so it is it is a very safe and therapeutic method. It is truly the most natural and it goes way back to ancient times. If you're wondering what to expect with hypnotherapy, uh, it really is a, is a process. It takes no more than 30 minutes. You see, uh, one of the questions that I'm often asked is, you know, if you were to uh, leave the room, would I just stay in, in hip hypnosis for the rest of my life? And the answer is absolutely not. After about 30 minutes, your body will naturally start to wake. So I use about 25 to 27 minutes um, to take you into a very relaxing state of awareness. And then as I take you even deeper into that subconscious realm, we're able to talk directly to your subconscious mind. In hypnosis, you're able to quiet the critical mind. And there are only two times in your, in your existence that you're able to do that. And that is while you are sleeping, while you are in your hypnosis. So it's why a lot of times when you think about radio stations playing uh, advertisements, you're driving in the car, so you're already going into highway hypnosis. You have the radio on, and you just heard a favorite song that took you back to 1989. And suddenly, you're in hypnosis. You're still driving. You're still consciously aware enough to be able to operate a motor vehicle. But as you're in that state of hypnosis, you're listening to an advertisement for McDonald's, and suddenly, it is as clear as could be that what you want right now in this moment is McDonald's. They're very careful about when they are driving in those advertisements because we understand when you're highly suggestible. Uh, so being suggestible is something that happens all the time. It happens when you're falling in love or when you're in a deep conversation with a friend. And so we use these types of uh, moments when we're under hypnosis to talk to your subconscious mind and advertise the things that you want. If you don't want to have McDonald's every day, uh, but instead you'd rather stop smoking or you'd rather have a healthier uh, love life, then this is the time for you to take control and to ask your hypnotherapist, I want you to tell me this, this, and this. This is what I want my subconscious mind to hear while I am suggestible. try to make uh, my hypnotherapy practice as available and convenient to anyone. And when I say anyone, I mean anywhere in the world. No matter who you are, whether you are a child, an adult, a senior, whether you are a couple or you are coming to me as an individual, I'm here to help you. Uh, I have a YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube, you can type in Journey with Janie Hypnotherapy. My name is J-A-Y-N-I-O-E. You can also go to my website, which is journeywithjanie.com. And in those places, you can schedule not only an in-person session here in Los Angeles, but you can also connect with me uh, via Skype or phone. 
So I do have opportunities for you to, to connect with me. If you think that you can't be hypnotized through a telephone, you absolutely can, and I'm happy to help you with that. In addition, I do audios, so I can send you an MP3 or a CD in the mail, however you prefer, and that's a way for you to maybe end your day uh, with putting some headphones in and listening to me take you on a hypnotherapeutic journey um, just as you go to sleep at night.